Okay, guys, so more Logic Pro X stuff, and I just want to show you um, that the smart tempo in Logic Pro X can be used to very easily construct DJ sets where you want to beat match material, okay? Uh, so look, in my project media here, I've got a whole bunch of old jazz funk tracks, because I was putting together a little jazz funk playlist, right? And, uh, you know, usually when you're DJing that kind of material, you don't beat match, really. There's very little fading of one track into another. Well, the, back in the day there wasn't, but let's just try it, because um, it does work. Now the project tempo is set to the default 120. I'm going to set this to custom. So drop the arrow down for the display area here and set it to custom, and then we get a bigger display. There's the project tempo 120. There's the project tempo menu. It's set to keep tempo. And let's bring in the global track so we can see that project tempo line, 120 beats per minute, the default. Now if we want imported audio to be automatically flexed to fit the project tempo, which is one thing Smart Tempo does, well, um, it's a feature that's now in Smart Tempo, although it's really to do with flex. When you bring in a piece of audio, the tempo can adjust to the audio, or you, the audio can adjust to the tempo. So to get that to happen, to get it so that any audio you import is... is um, Project the, the, the piece of audio is tempo analyzed and then adjusted in speed to fit the project tempo. To get it to do that, you've got to set that up in the project settings. So we got a file, project settings, smart tempo, and here set imported audio files to on. Well, you can set it to on and align bars or on and align bars and beats. We'll go with on and align bars, right? Which is a little, little more loose than on and align bars and beats. Right. So that means that any imported audio will be automatically flexed to fit the tempo I've got here. So I'm going to change the tempo to about 126. Ooh, 126. Some of these tracks will be slower, some will be faster than 126, but let's set it at that. So I'm going to get a fast track. Um, where are we? Let's have something fast to start with. Raul D'Souza, Jump Street. So I'll bring it in. I'll put it there at about bar 5. Bam, let go. On an audio track, right? Um, now, I've already brought this in once, so it's got tempo information in it, but I'm not going to import that. And there it is. Now, put the metronome on and have a listen. <laughs> right, it's on the money. And, you know, we, we just go in here and have a listen, and the downbeats have been put on the actual beats. There's an intro of, you know, it's a bit like that intro on um, Got to Give It Up, Part 1 and 2 by Marvin Gaye, you know, crowd parting, and then the beat comes in with the, with the riff, right? Right? Okay, so it's analysed it all right. And then, so therefore, it's, it's automatically flexed this piece of audio to fit the tempo of 126. So it fits the project tempo. And you can see here with the piece of audio selected here, look at the flex is automatically set to on and align bars. Exactly that we had here in project settings. Smart tempo, imported audio, set it to on and align bars. So this now fits the metronome. If I turn the level of this track down, you can hear the metronome playing away, and it's in time with the metronome. which is making it actually a little slower than it is in real life. Okay, but now let's do another one. So, go back to my project uh, media, and let's, what should we have after that one? Let's have, uh, let's have clear. So, bring this in, clear, let, Go on and look. I'm, I'm dropping it below this other piece of audio, and it'll create a track for itself. Bam, let go. There it is. Now, if this was the first time you brought this file in, you'd see a little a little box would appear and it would be analysed. But then, if we listen now, just turn this one down. Listen with it with the click. Yeah, it's 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 working with the bars. And again, select it up here. Look. The flex has been put on. 
on and align bars. If I could, if I wanted to tighten that up even more, I'd put it on and align bars and beats so that the quarter beats in between bars would also be dragged to their nearest quarter beat marker at the project tempo 126. All right, but there we go. That's that's in tempo. You know, that's working to the tempo. And this previous one is working to the tempo. So now I just bring. Let's just hear this one. Okay, so we'll just drop this back a bit and then bring this one underneath it. And um, cross fade them. Fade tool, fade this one out. Fade this one in. Let's hear that. Here we go. They're both, they're both beat, beat matched automatically, but with the smart tempo feature, right? <coughs> yeah? And any time, I can just push the tempo of the whole thing up. Let's have it at 128. It's just two beats faster. Everything just adjusts its tempo to 128. Now, that Raul D'Souza track is more playing at its original tempo now. Yeah, bing bang bong. It's a little bit loud this one, the waveform's a bit high, so just select it, go over here, just reduce the gain a bit. Yeah. Okay, let's just do one more. So up here, let's bring that end, end song marker there, that little triangle, see it there, I'm dragging it, that's the end song marker, just drag it up a bit out of the way. Okay, let's have another one to crossfade into, let's go from here to... Uh, oh yeah, okay, let's, let's do a transition into a track that doesn't have uh, doesn't come in on the beat straight away so we'll go with uh, this crown heights affair galaxy love drop it on the first track it's being analyzed see that's what happens if you bring a piece of audio in for the first time it's being analyzed so it's uh, tempo can be checked now if you want to show that mapping this is how it's been analyzed let's have a check of that this has got that here we go Yeah. One, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Yeah. It's all on the money. Now this has got a really long intro without a beat. But when the beat comes in, it's going to be in time with this. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a long fade out here, somewhere around there, and bring and then then look if you can just see this. Let me lower that down. There's the fade out, and if I get that fade tool, I can just dip it down with a different curve so it fades out a bit quicker, and then eases out. Right, then bring this one across, and as I bring it, see the orange lines appearing. So when I'm it's snapping that first or the orange lines to the bar lines, right? So let's have that fade up after this one starts to fade down. Somewhere there, right? Okay, let's hear that without the click now. Here we go.
Okay, look, I'll probably bring this, just bring this back a little bit. It's coming in a bit too early, like that. <laughs> Etc. And there's a higher working away there, and it's in time with what's being faded out. Okay. And then when it comes in, it's playing at the same tempo. And dancers on the dance floor, they they keep that beat in their in their head and their body. When the music dips away, you're still moving. You still remember that tempo. So even if it's got a if it's got a, a sort of ambient type intro, it'll come in and then and they're back at the tempo that, that they were at. But at this point, you could slightly creep the tempo up over the intro section if you wanted to speed up or slow down. Slow it down there, whatever you want, right? Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. So there you go. That's using the smart tempo to very easily beat match and to set up DJ sets. As I said, at the moment, it's just lining up the bars, which means when I grab a piece, look, see the orange bar lines? Only the orange bar lines are being lined up. But if we put it to bars and beats, you'll see a subtle shift in the waveform because now the beats in between those orange bar lines, four to every bar, they've been adjusted subtly to, to bring them in line with these quarter beat lines. You don't see them here, but they, they have been. So now, you know, you can have it with the bars of the music exactly lined up with the bars at the fixed project tempo, in which case this will be set to online bars. That's the default that we set in our project settings here, yeah? Imported audio, set it to on and line bars, but you could change this to on and line bars and beats or do it as an option afterwards. Set, Grab them all and switch them all to on and line. And they, see the waveform subtly shift there? Oh, on line bars and beats, that just makes them even tighter. Tetris, there you go. Beat matching to make it really easy to put together DJ sets um, in Logic Pro X using the Smart Tempo feature. Okay, hope that's useful.